In this episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to create a compelling hero that attracts your customers into your site and actually wanna scroll through your landing page. Now, if you guys didn't know, over 90% of people that actually go onto a website or a landing page never get past the hero. What I'm gonna to try to teach you in this video are the three basics in hero design, and I would argue the most important. So when you're designing a hero, you wanna have three things in mind and have them super crystal clear. Number one is what do you do or what do your clients do? What is their main point of business? What, what are they selling, right? Number two, why does it benefit the user on the website? Why do they care about this product? Why should they care, right? Number three, what do you want the customer to do or what do you want the user to do, right? What do you want them to do once they're on the landing page and once they get, even if they get past the hero, what do you want them to do? So what we have here is the brand packaging and the brief, right? And what this brief allows us to see is the basics. It's the logo that maybe you got from the client that they already had ready. We have the main font that they want to use on their website. So in this case, it's Frank Rule Libre. And then we also have the subtext or the supporting text or the body text, right? And then for this, we're going to use Nuni and basically the basic brief of the coffee shop here or of the company is that it's a coffee shop it wants to be modern inviting and then edge cutting right so it wants to be the best coffee shop in town it wants to create the best kind of specialty coffee shop that there is so we'll try to replicate that here on our website okay so let's get started the first thing as I said right was what do you do and this can be considered our heading one right or h1 so what I'm gonna do here is just shape out all the most important bits and I'm gonna try to do it in scale so you can kind of see the sizing of things before we actually start start typing anything and start writing anything down. So this is gonna be our heading one, correct? Great, so let's go ahead and create our subheading or our subtext, whatever you wanna call it. And we can just make that a little bit more slim and maybe something like that, right? Something that represents what we wanna showcase here. And then we wanna have our order, right? What we want the customer to do. This is called a CTA, which is click to action. And we're gonna make this little button here, which is gonna be around that big. We can scale it to be around 60 pixels and then just round it off to 160. That should be fine. We're not really going for perfection right now. And then on the right side, we want an image, a powerful image that really drags your customer in and explains what the hell you're doing and why it's important, right? You wanna entice them. So we can just make a little placeholder here. And I'm seeing that this heading is a bit overstretched, so we can just pull that in and then compare the sizing here so we know that we're always working with order, right? And again, I'll do the same here. I'll just grab all these three and using option and the arrow keys, I'm able to see how far away distances are. So now that we see that it's around 100 and that's fine for now. Okay, cool, let's go ahead and and do our little logo here. Again, these are just placeholders. So now what we're gonna try to do here is create a few little menus that indicate the different sections on our website. So we can do this just by scrolling this down and just making little rectangles like this. And that kind of shows what these nav menus are supposed to be, right? This is just a block out. Okay, so here we have the basics of what our website needs to be. We've got the heading, which is the H1, the sub body text, we've got the CTA, so what do we want our clients to do? And then we've got our main image. We've got the logos and then some other navs that we can use to create kind of the navigation of the website, right? So this would click and it would scroll all the way down to a different section. And really quickly, before we move on to the next section here, if you're liking this video, then make sure you let me know down below and even subscribe if you haven't already. All right, thank you guys so much. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, let's go ahead and change this into what seems to be just blocks and actually adding colors and making this into a really, really nice website that you can then go and build out Webflow or WordPress, whatever you use. Okay, let's make a little copy here. And I'm doing this just by holding option and then shift and we'll bring it to the left or to the right. I'm just gonna move this over here so we can always have our assets at hand. Okay, and let's start putting all these assets in and we're just gonna do this by selecting it and holding option and that'll duplicate it. We're gonna click K and we're gonna scroll it down or we're gonna reduce the size here. We can lock the aspect ratio and change this to an even 70 just so it's easy for us to remember a really simple numbers like 70, right? We're gonna go ahead and delete this because now we're actually filling these in so we can start getting rid of them. Okay, so now that we have the logo here, we see something, right? We see that the orange stands out from the white except we want it to stand out even more. We want it to have better contrast, better branding essentials, right? We want it to really scream what this brand is all about. So what we can do here is select the iMac frame in the background. Go over to fill, click on fill or hold control C and then you have these, this eyedropper tool. And we're gonna go over and select our color here which will then change the color for the entire frame. So you can see that this is already starting to turn into a bold website that will attract a lot of customers. Okay, now that we have this, let's start adding in the text. Let's start adding in the H1, the sub body, the CTAs, everything like that. We're gonna go ahead and click the text tool or click T and we're gonna write something like the best coffee 
in town, right? Something that describes, again, number one, what are we, what do we do? Why, why am I here? It's the best coffee in town, obviously. And we're gonna go overhead and choose our main font, which is Frank Roll Libre. And then we're gonna give it a nice big round number, like 60, that will create a big heading, which will kind of demand the attention of our users, which is what we really want here. So now that we have this text here, I'm gonna try to change the text to be a little bit more balanced. I want it to be nice and uniform and pleasing to the eye. So I'm gonna try something like specialty here and see if that works. Maybe get rid of the, the specialty and just change the text box here. So now that we have that, I'm gonna get rid of the actual text box. I'm gonna hit I, so I get the color tool again, and I'm gonna choose the color that we have here, right? The white, which stands out really, really well from the background. Then we're gonna get the text tool again, and now let's type something more descriptive. So I've gone ahead and looked at an existing coffee shop website, and I found this text, which I really, really liked, and I think it describes what we want to show here. So creating coffees that will consistently satisfy your senses and soothe the soul. It's a bit dramatic, but it'll do for this case. Okay, so what we wanna do now is just align it with the text and with the actual logo. So we're gonna go overhead here and align it to the left. Now you'll see that it's slightly shifted, but that's what we want. We want it to just slightly shift into place. Let's delete this placeholder and let's create our button here. So we see that we have this placeholder and what we can do here is add the order. What do we want the client to do? So let's say maybe we want the client to sign up for our subscriptions, right? So we'll say sign up. We'll drag it on top of the button here. We'll click both and then we'll hit shift A. Now what that'll do is it'll create a button automatically using auto layout. What we can do now is align it in the middle so that all the paddings are the same equally and the text is now centered in the middle. We want to select it and I like to pick the same font as the H1 for my buttons just because it kind of creates that, that similarity that, that we like to see. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose Frank Rule Libre and then maybe we can even choose the same size as this. Okay, let's give the CTA some color. I think we have a lot of white here and a lot of green but we aren't really touching any of the orange and the orange is really the brand color, right? It's not really the complementary color. So let's go ahead and change this button here, change the frame to be the same orange that we see in the actual logo. So now that we have that, we see that the button text is black and it's fine, but I think we really want to give it that extra touch of contrast. So let's go ahead and change that to white. Okay, now that we have that, we see that our left side is coming together really, really nicely. But there's a few things missing here. We've got the nav missing and we've also got the image missing. Let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to find a really great image for your hero. I'll go ahead to plugins, go into Unsplash, and I'm going to go ahead and type in coffee. Now that we have all these images, I think I like this one. This one looks pretty nice. See, I like this image because it appeals to the audience, right? I think that if I use this image, it's gonna entice them to actually want coffee. And wow, this is really nice specialty coffee. Let's go ahead and try it all over town, right? Whatever it is. Okay, so now that we've got these, let's just fill out these navs with some placeholders, like maybe team. And I think we'll use the Nunito again because it is our secondary font. So we want to make sure that we are consistent with our secondary fonts. Go ahead and change that to white, center it. And maybe this can be about us and then this can be maybe origins, right? Because specialty coffee always has some great origins. I'm gonna align it to reach the edge. So now that I've got all these selected, but they're not really ordered, I'm gonna go ahead and tidy them up. By doing that, I go over here to the top right and click tidy up. Now that just automatically shifts everything into place and everything is ordered. I'll delete this placeholder. Now that I delete that, you see that we've got this hero and this kind of completes the tutorial, right? This completes what we see and you can really see how easy it is just by keeping three really easy rules in place. So we've got three really important tools in place here. We've got what do I do, which is the best specialty coffee in town. Why should I care? Which is creating coffees that consistently satisfy your soul, right? So it's enticing to the to the user or the audience. And then we've got the CTA that we want the client to use. So we want them to sign up. What do we want them to sign up to? Scroll down and you'll figure out more, right? <laughs> then we've got the image here on the right. And this is just using Unsplash again. If we want to change how this is framed, we can go ahead and hold command. And this will allow us to kind of scroll and change our image. Now I'm going to keep it the way it was because I think it works great with the balance here we've got the text on the left and the image on the right nothing's too big or too small and one of the last things that I like to do here is just make sure that everything is nice and lined up to the left and then these sections here are nice and lined up horizontally or vertically and that completes this tutorial if you guys like this make sure they like and comment just so I know that you guys prefer this kind of tutorial or this kind of video if you guys have any questions leave them down below and I'll make sure to go and answer all of them as best as I can thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video